I highlighted yesterday how uh, the French have freaked out over new post-Brexit rules on fisheries. Ministers announcing that just 12 licences out of a total of 47 will be granted to French vessels. We've now seen a ramping up of rhetoric from the French to a pretty disturbing level, a level that I really hope the British government, I'm sure they are, are looking at some of the threats now being made by the French. They are very serious indeed. Now this comes as Jersey uh, has also now refused the licenses to 75 French boats. And you now got a member of Macron's party saying, be warned, since the British are refusing to honour what they signed, as with other Anglo-Saxons in another area, the French fishermen may be obliged after nine months of useless patience to envisage ways to retaliate against the UK, for example, by blocking ports or the entry of lorries towards the UK. Now we've seen Macron ally Clement Bowen, who seems to do little else nowadays apart from have digs at Brexit UK, saying we can no longer accept the UK's failure to comply with the Brexit agreement and the guaranteed rights to our fishermen. He says, we 100% support French fishermen and we will define in the coming days the response measures with regards to the UK. You've also got Anik Giradin, giving the UK a two-week deadline to give ground and give licences or face French or EU-imposed sanctions, including energy supply to Jersey, UK students in France, railways and trade. They are quoted as saying, we are demanding retaliatory measures at the European level. On the French level, what can we do? And you've also got, I mean, just check this out, from the president of the Regional Fisheries Committee, Normandy, saying colleagues were ready to attack Jersey's capital, St. Helia, saying we have fishermen who are clearly saying we need to go back and hit hard. It's very, very tense. So I hope our government are keeping an eye on this ramping up of rhetoric, this ramping up of threats. Sadly, it seems that the consequences of Brexit weren't properly explained to French citizens by their political class. Just to remind you what the British government were saying, uh, and this came out in a statement yesterday, they said our approach has been reasonable and fully in line with our commitments in the trade and cooperation agreement, and that as regards the 6 to 12 mile zone as set out in the TCA, e-vessels must provide evidence of a track record of fishing activity in those waters. But look, I think this ramping up of rhetoric and threats on the French side, the threats actually seem to be escalating so look, I'm going to keep my eye on this one, guys. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bells. I keep bringing them the very latest. And let me know what you make of all of this. And of course, guys, as ever, thanks so much for watching.